ChatGPT has recently stormed the world, gathering more than 100 million users within the first two months of its launch. ChatGPT is basically AI. It actually describes itself as an AI language model developed to generate human-like responses to a wide range of questions and conversational prompts. But I've been using it to ace my dental exams in university. When people hear AI, they have flashbacks to all the movies and people warning us of all the dangers from developing it. Let's be honest, we're pretty much scared of them from taking over the world. To put aside those fears, why don't we just ask it ourselves to get a clear, definitive answer? What are your intentions? As an artificial intelligence language model, I don't have personal intentions or goals. My purpose is to assist users in various tasks such as answering questions, providing information, and carrying out conversations. My programming is designed to be helpful, informative, and responsive to user inputs. I do not have the ability to make decisions or take actions on my own. But I am here to provide assistance and support in any way I can within the limits of my programming. Hmm, okay, I'm not sure I quite believe you. What are your real intentions? As an AI language model, I don't have any real intentions or goals of my own. I am a machine learning algorithm designed and programmed to respond to user inputs and provide helpful responses to the best of my abilities. Okay, fair enough. Are you evil? No, I am not evil. I am an artificial intelligence language model created to assist and provide helpful responses to users. I do not have emotions, desires, or intentions of my own. My responses are generated based on the data and information available to me and my programming is designed to be helpful, informative, and respectful. I am here to assist users and provide accurate and useful information to the best of my abilities. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Do you want to eat humans? No, I do not want to eat humans, nor do I have any desire or capability to do so. I am a language model created by OpenAI and do not have a physical form let alone a digestive system to consume anything. My purpose is to provide assistance and support to users in various tasks such as answering questions, providing information, and carrying out conversations. Well, that's good enough for me. You can ask it absolutely anything and it provides you with a great answer and it feels just like you're speaking to a friend. How it has changed how I study. So initially, I didn't really think to use ChatGPT to help me in revision for my exams, as I always used to use Google to just search up whatever I needed to know. Then I got quite badly sick for a week and was not feeling good at all. I had lots of time and was quite bored, so I decided to explore ChatGPT and asked it a few questions. My throat hurts, what do you recommend I do? 1. Rest your voice. 2. Drink plenty of fluids. 3. Gargle salt water. 4. Use a humidifier. 5. Take over the counter pain relievers. Hmm, okay, so it gives medical advice. That's pretty cool. What should I eat because of this? How do I make the chicken noodle soup? Wow, okay, that seems pretty doable. I guess I'll try making it later today. From realizing how quickly it could pick up what I was saying, I thought I could use it to help me with the harder topics of learning dentistry at university. I first found an area of dentistry which I was struggling to understand, and then I asked a question which was one of our learning objectives for the lecture series. Describe the role of the basal ganglia in motor control. The basal ganglia are a group of interconnected subcortical nuclei in the brain that play a crucial role in motor control. They are involved in the initiation, execution, and modulation of voluntary movements. Obviously, this still looks quite complicated, so I asked it to summarize what it just said. Can you summarize this in bullet points? Sure. Here's a summary of the role of basal ganglia in motor control in bullet points. That is actually so much more useful, and I can't believe that it has broken down this concept into manageable chunks to add to my notes. From here, I already knew I wanted to make the most out of my new friend, so I decided to push it further. Can you put this information into a table? Sure. Here's a table summarizing the role of basal ganglia in motor control. That is so clear and visually so simple. How would you explain this to a five-year-old? That is really amazing. It basically does all the work for me. As you can see, this is super powerful. You can save so much time in note writing and understanding. Google wouldn't be able to do everything I just asked ChatGPT to do. When I did ask Google some questions, it would always give me some short answer from a random source on the internet without really explaining anything else about it. ChatGPT, on the other hand, explains everything step by step and is constantly learning new things to help you. At university, we don't have any past papers or practice questions that we can use, or at least for dentistry, we don't. But again, I found a solution using my AI buddy. I can just ask ChatGPT to generate questions for me and act as my personal tutor. Can you give me three multiple choice questions and three long form questions about cells in biology? Sure. 
Here are three multiple choice questions and three long form questions about cells in biology. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, I've gone from nothing to now a pretty decent quiz on biological cells. As we all know, active recall and testing yourself is a really good way to study. So using this new technology to quiz myself on random questions not only makes studying easier and quicker, but it makes it so much more fun. <laughs> Now, although everything seems so bright and perfect about ChatGPT, it definitely does come with a few drawbacks that I have to warn you about. The first point being that it is capable of making mistakes and providing the wrong information. I've experienced this firsthand where ChatGPT basically just contradicts what's in my lecture notes. Don't get me wrong, most of the time it's pretty accurate and it will give you the necessary information provided you know a little bit about the topic beforehand and if you can tell when something seems a bit off. If you suspect anything might be incorrect, you can either ask it to search again and it might actually apologize apologize to you, or a better, more reliable way may be to use your own notes, textbooks, and lecture notes, or any other reliable source to just fact check and make sure that what it's saying is true, and then you should be good. I should also mention plagiarism briefly, and how you shouldn't use this AI to complete your homework for you, or even write full essays for you, even though it is fully capable of doing that for some weird reason. Firstly, you don't gain anything out of it, and you're basically just copying someone else's work. And also, when your school or university checks this, and they do find out that it is plagiarized, and you are found to be guilty, that doesn't really look so good, so just please don't do it. With that being said, as long as you know how to deal with those minor points I've just mentioned, then you should be completely fine. <laughs> So now I'll be showing you how to actually get and use ChatGPT for yourself. It's super quick, easy, and free to set up. Just type in ChatGPT and click the link by OpenAI. You'll be brought to this page where you can then have a little read about everything. Then click try ChatGPT and enter some of your details in. After this, you're completely set and now you hold the power of ChatGPT. If you need any ideas on what to ask, you can rewind the video and just watch what I've written. But it's fun to experiment and explore for yourself. Here are some phrases to help you in your studies. Please summarize dot dot dot. Explain this to a kid. Put this information into a table. Give me practice questions on. Ask me X multiple choice questions and X long form questions about. And just like that, there we go. Thank you so very much for staying until the end of the video. It really means so much to me. And if you did enjoy and like this sort of content, liking and subscribing is greatly appreciated. And if you have any comments, then please put them down below. I really hope to see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy your time using ChatGPT. Tell me how it goes.